Welcome back for some more PGA Tour 2K21 career mode and those of you who managed to get through to the end of the last video, uh, the golf club open, will realise that we're not actually going to be playing the one that I said it was going to be, which should have been the second round of the Shriners Hospitals for Children open. Uh, I got a little bit impatient and went ahead and played that, so as you can see, I actually played a few events since then, so the Shriners anyway I didn't win, finished second in that, uh, just missed by one shot. Uh, Southern open. Didn't do the best in that, finished 4th, Champions Invitational, convincing lead, 23 under. Um, Tall Palms Classic, which I actually played earlier on today at the Jim Riot Club, finished that one with a 7 shot lead. So at the moment we're holding the lead in the Green Hills Classic uh, at Pearl Mountain by 1 shot, that's where we're going to be playing today. Um, also as well, I have, I'll just show you real quick, I have swapped out uh, a couple of clubs. Which are, if it loads up, there we go. Alright, so into the golf uh, golf bag, should I say, not golf club. Um, yeah, so I've swapped the driver out now. I had got the Callaway Maverick, I believe it was. So I've now got the uh, Telemade Sim to match the 503 wood. I had got the Callaway, again, I think it was Maverick, uh, for the 4 and 9 iron. I've swapped that now to match the, the rest of the irons. They are all now... TaylorMade Sim Max OS. I've kept the Callaway wedges for now. There is a TaylorMade wedge that I want to get, but I just need to unlock that through TaylorMade sponsors. Uh, pretty much, actually, to be honest, no. With the nine iron and the four iron, actually, no stat changes between this one and the uh, the Callaways. So, and actually, the same for the driver. Exact same stats. So. Uh, but it just kind of rounds out the set a little bit better, makes it a little bit more even. As I say, once I get those tailor-made wedges unlocked, I will do the same there as well. Uh, I believe there's a ta one tailor-made putter that I've been looking at. Uh, I think that's also actually a, a sponsor contract goal as well. But what, as I say, anyway, what we're going to be doing today now is the second round of the Green Hill Classic at Pearl Mountain Golf Club. Leading it by one shot at the moment. See, we had high winds there now in the first round. Um... So what are they going to be? It's going to be low winds this time, and fairways and greens are going to be firm, and green speed is going to be medium fast. Right, let's see if we can win this one. Hello and welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Green Hill Classic is about to begin. Delighted to have your company for this final round action. I'm Luke Elby, here alongside Rich Beam, and Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? Well, they start off with a very small lead, and so they're going to be cognizant of that. There's not a lot of room for error, but in saying that, they do have the lead, so they can't afford to make a mistake somewhere along the line if it should happen to come up. But in saying that, they just don't want to make any mistakes. It's going to be a difficult day all around. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. All right, first tee. And let's see and oh, it's a today. horrible one. It's a horrible one. It might be all right. Might take a little kick to the right. Um, I have also gone ahead and turned off the live rival replays. It was just getting a little bit too much in the events that I did play off camera. Um, it wouldn't be too bad. Like I mean, some of you may be getting aware it's only once every two or three holes or something like that. But I was getting aware it was actually two or three times some in some cases per hole like i take the tee shot there and then i get a, a replay uh i could take this shot now into the green thing get another one it's like oh, it's just a little bit a little bit too much now so maybe if i don't know hopefully maybe that may get patched maybe or something like that if uh, if the devs do see that okay it's a little bit in your face kind of thing it is a great addition don't get me wrong but as i say it's just for me personally anyway, it's just a little bit too much uh, a little bit too regular is the word that I'm looking for. Uh, so this is going to be playing about what, 96, call it 90. Right, let's get cheeky. Let's see if we can spin this one. Solid strike. So might need to sit. Go on, spin back, spin back. Oh yes. That is a beautiful approach shot. I absolutely nice love the spin. I am going to be as well. 
So I'm still for career mode anyway and at the moment any societies that have up and running that are allowed uh, on the pro swing. I'm flip flopping back and forth between this and master. Um, I will apologise as well though, uh, it was actually Jim again mentioned it in a video as well about the commentary in his headset comes across real loud but in the video it doesn't come across real loud so Hopefully, I'm not, I'm not being sounded out by uh, Rich and Luke commentating in the background on uh, John as well. But apparently, in the videos, damn it! Apparently, it, it, it does seem, it seem in the videos themselves that the commentary isn't actually as loud as what I'm hearing now on my headset. So hopefully, we're not all kind of cancelling each other out. But. Uh, yeah, I am going to have to make the transition regardless to the master swing. Um, it's just I haven't got the full consistency yet for our tempo and timing. Uh, I'm getting there slowly, but if you haven't heard, now nothing is set in stone yet. Uh, 165, 170-ish. Alright, this should actually be alright. Oh, fast again. That's off the back, I think. Um, yeah, nothing's been set in stone yet, at least not at the time I'm recording this anyway. Um, the TGC Tours, they've had a little bit of a change. You may well have heard about it. Uh, so the names of the Tours now are gone, they're changed. So it's no longer PGA, European and so on. Uh, or Corn Ferry. PGA is now going to be called the Platinum Tour. Um... European tours will be elite, I believe, and Corn Ferry is something like Kinetic, I think it is. Nope, that I did that about like four times in the last round. <laughs> but that's the result of bleeding now. I wouldn't mind one of the challenges actually for the sponsors for Adidas is to finish around in this event with a puts per hole of 1 to 0, 1 1.2. And I don't know what it was in the last one. I did have a, a double bogey and a bogey and a few three puts here and there for par and stuff. What's the strategy? So I uh, missed it horribly there, but attack it or lay back. Alright, we got oh it's a back tee. Or a back pin, should I say. Right, let's let's be bold. Alright, a little bit fast, not too bad it is still coming. Oh, this could be nice if it nah it's gonna kick down into the bunker, I think. But yeah, I'm saying anyway there, but TGC Tours is, again, I will stress that at the point of the time of recording, anyway, nothing is set in stone about it, but they are considering that from the Platinum, or PGA, down to the, down and into the CC Tours are going to be on Master Swing. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. 40, alright, this might just about get up there. A little bit fast. Oh, needs to get down. Hit the pin. Oh! Didn't hit the pin. It caught the cup. <laughs> Just flicked itself back out. But I will say, though, tonight, putting is actually... It's letting me down. It's letting me down. Just about. Um... Yeah, I'm just I'm just not reading a few puts, like the one the previous hole there, blasting the straight over the hole, but otherwise I'm just not getting the weight right, leaving them a little bit short, <coughs> a few I'm just not reading correct, so hopefully we can get it under control for this one, um, hole 4 anyway, 229, going to be playing about what, 2, 218? Gonna have to take, gonna have to take it back down here and choke down on it as well a little bit. I think, maybe even a bit more. This is gonna carry. That's a good tempo there. Now, if I can do that on the full shots, that'd be great. Nearly took the eagle over there. We'll get up. That worked out beautifully. All right, let's see if we can convert it now. Absolutely, in there close. Good look at Bernie also as well, I'd just like to say uh, thanks to everybody for the feedback and support as well on the putting video that I did. Um, got a lot of great, great feedback on that. I am, a, I do know, an awful lot of you are having a little bit of trouble with this putting. Um, I don't know. If, actually, let me know down below if you're not on PS4 if it's affecting you as well, or if it. If, like I know a lot of people on PS4, it's affecting. Go on, kick it, 
kick out just about um, where just slightly pulling back on the stick is just it's glitching the swing um, and just resetting it back to the address position uh, has been passed on to the devs as well they, they're aware of it now so hopefully it'll uh, it'll be patched soon uh, fairly soon anyway but a few solutions that I suggested to the guys that I had, that I do know of uh, one bloke he was doing he was swinging with the right stick he changed off to the left stick said that that sorted it for him um, but other people are saying that they tried that and there was no joy uh, another one that I was, another couple of things I was thinking maybe just under the stick a little bit of a dirt or grip build up so not the best of solutions but just move pushing the stick forward or at different angles and at each angle just giving a sharp blow into the stick mount just to clear out any dirt that might be in there causing it um, the best would be uh, just a kind of compressed air to be honest um, another couple where if it is affecting you maybe try resyncing your controller with the PS4 or Xbox possibly um, or if you play wire wireless because I've had it happen when I play I was trying to think when it was happening to me personally and it was mostly happening it was it was happening quite often here and there uh, when I whenever I'd be playing with the controller wireless now I'm playing wired at the moment I always play wired 99% of the time I'm playing wired to be honest uh, or nine times out of ten um, I always play wired whenever I'm recording so it's the controller's not conflicting with the Bluetooth signal for the headset um, but I don't I haven't I don't recall it happening while playing with it wired I'm just playing about 150 that's bang on 58 iron we are on a down slope though but other people have ah oh, shit fast again come on sit yeah, a couple of other people have said that they've tried multiple controllers and still no joy. So, as I say, they are aware of it. <clears throat> it has been reported anyway. Oh, no, I've hit that. Oh, I can feel that. Just Tom just didn't want to push forward there for some reason. I don't know why. Why don't mind this part, part? That's a bit better. He's got the legs, just a bow for the par save. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, how are we doing? Alright, three shot lead. We got Tyrrell Hatton. One hole ahead of us, three shots behind. And was that Cantley there? So he's got seven under as well. He's through 11. Right, let's see. Can we take it through the gap here? I don't know if it's going to be worth it, but pull back to the rough. Oh, a bit of a fast, it might make its way to the far side of the fairway. It's hard to tell. Oh, slow up just about. It's going to be an awkward little light up. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the... That's one thing I keep doing by mistake as well. I'm looking at the distance marker here now on the green. And that's my club. Instead of looking up on the top right there. Uh, so 110, playing about 180. Don't want to pitch. Certainly don't want to pitch shot. Get a little bit cheeky, I think, and we try another backspin. This is going to be a tricky shot, this one. Oh, a little bit fast. My help with actually just holding it a little to the left. Oh, it's going to be long. Oh, wait. No, it's not. It's going to come back horribly, though. Oh, it didn't. <laughs> I was expecting it to sink its teeth in and just fly right back on me. But that worked out beautifully. This is actually pretty straight. Just need to get the weight right and a little bit of an overhit, but thankfully nothing too major. Drop it in. Move it to 11 under par. Alright, so yeah, they're holding sort of steady. There's Justin Thomas moving in a 7 under as well. Justin Rose, I think I just saw there. Can see what hole he's on. He's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Right, 140, playing at 135, call it 128-ish, 128, 129 with the wind. 
So that's going to be a gap wedge pretty much without even adjusting it. Let's see how that does. Oh, it's a slow. Missed green. Oh, can I catch the right side? Oh, just kicks off to the right. That's not the outcome they were after. That was not too bad. You can possibly chip it in. Go on, get there. Get there. Done. The Great amount chip. of those chips I've done. Well, I must actually try and compile that little uh, montage video of all the shots. We will skip it, we don't need to see it, we just did it, so we know what happened. <laughs> we were there. Still in the lead now after that hole. Alright, three shot lead, Terrell Hatton is trying to catch up. Uh, Kevin Kisner appeared and Justin well, Rawls has vanished. It's a power four. Right, uh, a little bit of a bottleneck here. I think we'll just drop it down. Or, no, I'll still tell you what, we'll just dial back on the driver. Such a short backswing for doing the parcels on the driver. It looks weird. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Three right, 96. Going to play season. about 105. Call it 90, 100, 99 to 100 with the wind. So, sand wedge. Maybe just put a little touch of loft on it, just in case. Slow. Oh no, it wasn't. That actually felt slow on me, Tom. Oh, sit there. Oh, a little bit of backspin out as well. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Of all the shots that I like the most. Alright, we're doing right a little bit better here in this round, so maybe I'm with a slim chance if I can just not position, this has held all get too many two puts <laughs> on the back nine. Could Might get that, uh, indeed, tough holes lay ahead, that contract goal. Yes, get a nice big drive here. Hole. Should be able to take it over the trees. A little luck, yeah, that should. Hopefully not too violently kick. On the rough then. Just about on the perfect. Yeah, this should be fine. I'll kick into the fairway. Shouldn't be too aggressive though. Just kind of picture in my head it would just catch the slope and just rocket itself across to the other side. Right, 180. Again, I'm looking at the, the distance down there on, on the, the green. So 186. Going to play about 198. Call it 191 ish with the wind. Maybe just pull back a little bit on the forward iron. Ball light. Fast again. But it might just stun on the slope here. Ooh, stunned a little bit too much. Oh, and all the way back down. Alright, little splash shot up. Certainly not going to be a chip shot. So, what's a 15? Put that all the way back. I will have to just adjust this. Or else it will go on a bit too far. Oh, got a fast on it. Sit there. That's ah, not bad. Putting for birdie. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. All right, we are in, what and we are making another move. Fourteen under. How are the guys doing? Now six shots in front. Still chasing. Or dropping back. Oh, dropping back. So eight under. So we got a six-shot lead now at the moment. Oh, Justin Rowe's making an appearance there at the bottom again. Kisner's gone. Let's see what happens here at the eleventh hole. Right, um, 2.16, gonna be playing about 2.14, call it 2.18, 2.19 maybe with that wind. Now the, the, the woods I've noticed, they don't really seem to get as affected with the wind, an angled wind like this, whenever I'm doing a partial. So I'll just pull that right back, this is probably gonna come up short now that I just said that. Fast, felt it. We get a nice hop and run. Yeah, I pulled it back too much. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. We got 14, playing oh, 16. Gonna be a splash shot again. Disappointing. I've noticed you can adjust this one a lot quicker when you zoom into the green. It's very slow if you're back here at your golfer. Oh, 
get in the hole. Beautiful. Oh, I think I might just have to save that one. Absolutely insane. Hop, skip, and a jump into the hole. Quite like this. Oh, hello. Worth another look, shall we? That is beautiful. <laughs> no that is absolutely beautiful. All right, so that gives us a seven-shot lead. As we head on to hole number 12, there's seven holes to play. But yeah, I'm starting to get, I was just talking about there earlier on, pretty consistent. They're fine we get a perfect downswing on the driver. Um, I'm starting to get pretty consistent with the pro clubs now. So, like, I mean, they're, they're almost pretty much the equivalent of uh, Master Club. Sorry, I said pro. Uh, pro Swing. Uh, which is pretty much the equivalent of the Master Clubs on TDC 2019, so just depending on the club. Like, I mean, the, the swing plane for Hotman Tomorrow is not too bad, it's easy enough to get to grips with, but gonna have to just work on the Master Swing, just build that consistency up. 109. Right, we're gonna pull this back as well, see what we can do with a bit of backspin on this. Solid swing. Coming around a little bit too much. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Ah, it should be fine, Luke. It should be fine. Ah, crap, it's not. Oh, Didn't come back far. <laughs> That's not too bad of a putt, though. A gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Just get the weight right. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Oh, oh a little push right in the top of the swing there. Three feet to go here to the hole. Just don't blast it over the hole. <laughs> I did. I, it was at least at least two or three times in the last round. I did that. Just again. It's just like my thumb just locks up, and just did not want to push forward. And I just kind of force force my thumb to go and just pushes a bit too hard. All right. Let's see if we can get it up there in one. Wind's a little bit more favourable. Not a perfect off the tee. Nah, it's not going to get up. That's going to die on the slope. Oh, wait, hold on. Well, it's going to sit up there, so we have a possible chip in here for an eagle, too. Ten yards. Um, That's pretty decent distance. Don't think we need to go up that far. Oh, go on. Go on. That's an impressive little chip. Got to say, his shot is phenomenal. Lucky not to hold that one out. Okay. Hole 14. It's all on me to screw it up now at this stage. 143 down 53. So we're taking about, what, 18 off that? Um, 20 to be 123. 125. Call it 119 ish. Alright, what have we got? 119. If we just. Knock this a little bit. Try another little bit cheeky backspin on it. Oh, slow. Lose a little bit. Probably still going to spin back though. Oh, it's made the green. And it just actually sat pretty quick. Oh, I'm thinking green line here on this one. I'll just be very gentle with it. Oh, I overhit it. Yeah, just a fraction of a second. Nine feet to the cup. Think either way, I was a bit too far out. Good stroke. Go on, go on. Oh, luckily in for par save. I don't think we're going to get that uh, contract goal. Uh, puts a hole of 1.2 or fewer or less, should I say? We'll soon find out. Anyway. And, after a at the last, a chance to perhaps and some hopefully, intent. fairly soon, once the societies start get, uh, getting up and running properly. Because at the moment, oh, that's a lovely swing. Yeah, at the moment, there's just kind of like little test events, one round test events with different settings going on, just to find that balance for people. <clears throat> but uh, once proper events start to kick into gear, um, I'll start recording and uploading a few of them. Is, oh, I think, yeah, we can get there. 
Oh, we can get there with the driver. How's the lie here? That's a horrible lie. I have to really aim over here. No idea what way this is going to go, but we'll give it a go. Let's find the spot. The interesting choice of the driver oh, here. slow. Now, where's this going to go? Horrible. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, this is going to be a lengthy put if it holds the green. Oh, and it did. Well, that's that's going to be at least 78 feet. Always like the aggressive play, going forward in two and getting rewarded for it. This is from 81 Wales. feet. Now, my longest put so far is 67. I do believe. I have to have a little look at that, but definitely going to worm this one. This is probably going to take a couple of little practice backswings as well, just to find that spot for the weight. I'm kind of favouring just a little. I'm trying to aim with the D-pad. Reset that. Favouring just a little bit out here. Go. Alright, apparently I got the weight right. Doesn't look like it's going to get there though. Although, hold on, hold on, go on, go on, oh, I just died at the end, it was gonna, I think it was gonna miss just a little bit to the left, but still, beautiful dis distance control, if I can get the word out, move to 17 under par. Pretty much destroying him, I think that was Justin Rose there in second, but hole 16, another. Let's see what happens here. This potential eagle too so here cool. um what way do i want to do time. i definitely want to attack it, for it, lay it back. uh let's have a look at the green your swing. right i think yeah if we just put it in a roundabout here let it run and hopefully just enough in enough time the uh actually hold on hold on hold on hold on we'll go about here we'll come out of here this is going to be a very difficult shot this could go horribly wrong but i'm going to put a big bit of fade on this and then hopefully the angle it comes in. Uh. Oh, a little fast. But it is still coming around. And hopefully it should take that slope a little bit quicker if we can get to it. Come on. Now it's going to feed itself off the back I think. Oh no. No. Alright we're still on them one. A great shot from our leader. I think we'll just play this Got one and a half. Taking out the big stick and going ahead and walloping it right If it drops, it drops. Green. Happy days, but go on, go on, go on. Oh, that would have been a nice one to hold. Oh, oh, was that like a half a foot? Almost an eagle. Half a foot away. That's a, I think is that the is that only the second or is that three times now so far this round I've had a chance at an eagle too. And just uh just missed it. I know who I like. Hole seventeen part three, one ninety one, playing about one eighty nine, call it one eighty four ish maybe with the wind. So I think we'll just play play the seven iron. Put a little bit of loft on it. Probably gonna come up a bit short now. Oh, nope, final. not with a fast. Not with a fast. Right. Just needed to stay on the green. Alright, not too bad. Not well, too bad. You can see why he's Outside chance. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Underhit it. No, I didn't actually. I thought I underhit that there. Wasn't really vibrating. Beautiful putt. And that takes it to 19 under par. Why not take another look at that effort? Tearing this course to bits this time. So I think for the eventual little montage, we don't will save that one. I'd like actually a few more on these replays. I'd like a few different angles. Um, because there's a lot of them actually where there was a there's a few double breakers, big double breakers that I got. And uh, you can't from the angle uh, that it shows in like what you would have seen there, or when you manually manually go in to look at the replays from the angles you can't touch a there doesn't seem to be an angle available where you can see the ball working its way through those breaks. So I'd actually like to just see some 
more variation in the camera angles for the replays. Well, Rich, this won't come as a big surprise, Villa, because there's a lot of people talking about this player. Uh, They've been performing beautifully uh, all season. It's now 250, 60, 55. Luke, absolutely. Week in and week out, this right, I mean, we can get here, so I mean, we're going to go for it. We're well in the lead. Level. There's no need to. i got to believe he's a lot of people's favourites to win this tournament. Oh, like that, yeah, I felt that one. Where is it going to kick? <sighs> Massively. All over into that bunker. Kicked that hard, it went off the screen. Not really what they were hoping for there. Alright, we'll still hopefully get up and down for a birdie. Uh, 41, playing about 45, that's perfect for a flop shot. Mm, what did I say, 45? I think maybe the sand wedge just lofted a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I felt that, and that's all that was. What on earth? Sorry if that came across one thing. Every video, nearly every video, one of the cats has to do something. You know, he's knocking something down over there. This is to win the event. Very regularly now in videos, <laughs> they have to do something. Oh, the oh, I did get it, I did get it. Go on, turn. Hold. Nah. The vibration just only barely started, so I'm gonna finish it off with a par, 19 under for the for the event, I was about to say for the round. Well, uh, 12 under par anyway for this one. So yeah, I don't think we need to see it. What well, one foot tap in <laughs> for the win? So how did the others finish overall? I think you mentioned earlier that this player was your favourite. Well picked. Listen, I, it's not a hard mm, pick. Taking its time. It's been doing this the last couple of days as well. I think it's just the, the volume of all of us on playing the game at once is just lagging a little bit. And they did do server maintenance, I believe, just to increase the capacity. But there we go. North 47 won the Green Hill Classic. Now, did we get that? Uh, puts a hole actually is what I want to know um, but 8 shot lead anyway not bad at all Justin Thomas coming in a second Justin Rose nipping his heels two shots behind him won't go down through the whole lot but I am curious alright level up again get a new hat another 250 coins and we've just uh, beaten Jim Furyk so that is two rivals down now what do we unlock for defeating him uh, oh, nice, uh, nice new hat. So, who is next, actually, on the rivalry? Ian Poulter. All right. Uh, so he's FedEx Cup rank nine. Uh, three top tens, three top twenties. And we'll actually have a little quick look. By the looks of the wait, hold on. We press, yeah, press advance, and we'll see. Now in a second, if we actually did get that contract goal, don't think so though. That was just a couple of a couple of dodgy holes, especially that uh, bogey on the par five early in the front nine. Again, just taking his time. Here we go. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I must actually have a look at uh, statistics. Can I see that for the event? Um, more options. View event stats. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Now does it go? Well, I suppose it'll show the best overall anyway. Uh, puts per hole is what we want. Longest drive, actually. That was in the first round. I had a 16 or 17 mile per hour tailwind, and it was that massive downhill. Uh, par 5, I think it is, on the, the back nine. Bombed at 426 yards. Um, let's see. Puts per hole, puts per hole. Where are you? What's per hole? Did I go past it? I didn't see, yeah, I got one double bogey. I must have gone past it there, actually, did I? Where is Putz per hole? I need to go to spec savers, I think. Greens of regulation, driving distance, proximity to the hole. Three put avoidance. <laughs> Terrible. Um, Alright, there's that. It's not showing me. Puts for hole. It probably did. 
before hitting advance, but I didn't have a look. But what's going to be up next anyway? The the Juno Cup, I think it is. Yeah, the Juno Cup, uh, Copper Jones. Won't guarantee it at the second round of this. I'm actually, to be honest, actually, I'm going to go ahead and play this event. Um, so actually, I have a couple of uh, contract goals for this. So finish around with a driving distance average of 295 or better. And I have to finish a round scoring 8 under or better in this one. So I'm going to go ahead and play this one. Um, let me see. The next one, what we'll do, or what I'll do is I'll go ahead, I'll play the Juno. I'll play the Riviera, uh, Riviera Open. Or Riviera Open. I cannot talk. Um, and then the next career video will be the final round of the Waste Manager Phoenix Open. I can't wait to play that one. I absolutely love the atmosphere now in the game on hole number 16. But if you managed to make it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop it a like. If you haven't done so already and you do like the content here on the channel, make sure to hit subscribe. I shall talk to you all in the next one. Until then, take care, have yourselves a good one, and bye for now.